Villanova and Delaware here uh, on paper, a little bit of a mismatch. But it, I'll say this, uh, from a market perspective, it did seem to open up as a little bit, uh, we'll, saw, we'll call it high for Villanova, as high as 17 in some spots. That was DraftKings. We're down to 16 or 16 and a half here. And in fact, one shot flashing 15 and a half right now. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad play on the Blue Hens here. I like this Villanova team, not as good as some of the teams in the past. Slater's been terrific, was really the catalyst in that uh, tournament for them in, down the stretch against St. John's. Uh, but to me, I look at this Delaware team, they can shoot the ball well. From the floor, JBT, about 47%. It's actually better than what Villanova is at 44%. But the, where the problem you run into with Villanova is number one in the nation at the free throw line, almost 83% as a team. Those are like NBA stats. Yeah. Uh, really impressive in terms of what they can do, whether it's you know Samuels, whether it's uh, Gillespie, it doesn't make a difference. They can all shoot the ball. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, Dylan Painter and how he performs here. Uh, now, down the stretch in certain matchups, hasn't played a lot of minutes. Uh, right last time we saw them play, only played, I think, uh, 10 minutes against UNC Wilmington. But can get out there and get some good minutes against a Villanova team that's somewhat small. So we'll see if Painter can get some minutes uh, in there. Get prepared for all the madness with VEASAN's Tournament Betting Guide, daily best bet emails, plus full access to VEASAN through April 5th for only $19 at VEASAN.com slash madness.